Hello, everybody. Welcome to another amazing episode of Met Related Pep Talk. And in this episode, I'll be taking you through a simple visualization of wind barbs and then wind vectors over a map or a spatial plot. And so we start off first by importing some packages we need that's X array, which will be needed for um, assessing the data from our net CDF data file, and also the Catopy which will be needed for the map generation. And then we import also the feature from the Catopy to allow for the country border and then also the coastlines and the rest, I mean, their creation. And then finally, we import the matplotlib.py plot, which would be for the plotting environment. So we start off first by assessing our data. So data equals to XR, that's from the XRE, dot open data set. And then we are using an error five data, so error five dot nc. All right. So by running this, we have the data intact. So if you want to see what the data contains, we just type in data dot data underscore vars for the variables. And that's it. Now what we we'll need in this case is our U component of the wind, the V component, and then also the positions, which will be derived from the latitude and then the longitude. So we start off by first, because this data is four dimensional, because it's varying over time, the level, the latitude, and then the longitude. I want to pick a particular pressure level data, just one pressure level. So we start off by saying our data equals to data dot cell, that's to select and then we select a level of 1,000 hectopascal, which is on the surface or close to the surface. And then from there, we now, to generate our wind barbs or wind vectors, we need our X, our Y, our U, and then our V. X and Y are the positions, which are the longitude and latitude in this case. The U and the V are the zonal and meridional components of the winds, respectively. So we start off by x being our data dot longitude and then y being data dot latitude and then our u the u <coughs> sorry the u is the data dot u and then the v would be the data dot v However, because this is also varying over time, we want to pick just one fixed time to use in this example. If you want to do that over all the times, it means you can apply a loop function. I mean, like you can apply a loop in the script and then that would work. Or you can also be changing your various times and then you get it working. So to use just the first time, we select our data U at the first index. And as you know, Python indexing starts from zero. We do same for the V. However, the longitude and the latitudes are quite fixed because the variables that we're having are dependent on them. Okay. So from here, we can just move straight away and then generate our um, wind barb. So if I have to generate the wind barb, I can just do plt dot barbs and then keep in the data. However, I would want to create a figure environment to allow for it being mapped on a, a particular you know, to position it on a map. So what I'll do first is to create a figure, so plt.figure. And then I'll create an axis, which will be a subplot. So we have plt.subplot, and just a one panel subplot, so one, 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 and then we indicate a projection. And this projection will be from the CCRS. So we have CCRS dot, um, Okay, let's use the plate carry projection. And then we open and close a parenthesis. And that's its syntax. All right, so from there, now we can just create an, um, the coastlines. We can have ax.coastlines. And that should just create the coastlines. So let me hold on to the line 27 first. And we run all this and see what we have. Okay, so that creates 
the various um, continents of the world. But we need to restrict this, okay? Now the data is over West Africa, so we need to restrict this data just to West Africa. So we set an extent. So AX dot set extent. And then we keep it as an array in there. We start from the left and right. So that's the West and East. So West in this case, let me use 20, negative 20.5. And then the East also 20.5. And the South in this case, let me use um, just four degrees North. And then 23.5 degrees also North as a top position. We run this. Okay, so we have the West African map drawn. But then we would also want to include here the countries, I mean the country borders. So to do that, we've already imported the feature. So we would be adding a feature with ax.add feature. And in that we indicate a Catapai feature and then with the borders. And that should create the countries for us. Okay, so we have all the countries specified in here. Now from here, we can then straight away create our wind barbs. So we have an ax dot barbs. Because I'm creating it, I didn't use a plt because um, I'm creating it in the same axis that I've created. So it means ax dot barbs would just overlay the vectors on the map. So ax dot barbs, and then we've already created for our x, which is the longitude. So we have x and y as the latitude, and then our u, which is the zonal wind, and then our v, which is the meridional wind. And this should create a simple wind bulb. Okay, so our wind bulbs are created. However, we see from here that the wind bulbs are too clustered, so we'll need some um, spacing. So at least um, we can find the shape of x first. So let's see x.shape from the console. And that's just 83. Um, the shape of Y is 41. And then the shape of U is 41 by 83. And then the shape of V. Okay, same. All right, so we, I'm going to separate this in steps of two first. And then because the U and the Vs are sort of two dimensional now, they are dependent on both the longitude and the latitude. So I'm going to duplicate that twice. I mean, so we have this one for the longitude aspect and one for the latitude aspect. So it conforms with the X and the Y. And then we do same on the V. So that should give us a more reduced wind bump. Okay, All right. Um, okay, it's still a bit clustered, so let me use um, separations of five, maybe. Uh, that should work. Yeah. All right. Now, because these are surface winds, we see that the winds are very calm on the um, the continental ends that's closer to the ocean. Definitely we we expect that you know surface drag will reduce the winds that are moving from the oceans onto the land. So that's why we have come up. So if we want we can change the pressure level to a level um, relatively above. So let's try nine two five and see what happens at that level too. Okay, so we see some variations. Uh, these are relatively higher than the surface so um, friction would be quite reduced. So we expect some winds, not necessarily all calm, to move onto the lands. And this just a simple way of visualizing your wind pipes, right? With your you know basic understanding of meteorology, you can tell what um, the wind pipes mean, where they are coming from, how they would impact on the your region of interest that you're studying. And Alternatively, to create the wind vectors, all we need is the quiver. So we would rather change the barbs. Let me just duplicate this line. 
and then I comment the line 29 out and we change the barbs to quivers. So quiver and that should create our wind vectors. Okay. And so with this, you can actually see the direction of the wind, the strength of the wind and um, its orientation. Okay. And that's simply how to create a wind vector. Um, this should be all for this session. If you have any question, you can leave it in the comments section. I'll try to address it. And thanks to all those who have been leaving comments, those who've been subscribed already. We hope you still keep subscribing. You, uh, I mean, you get your friends to subscribe, you keep sharing and you also keep learning, continue learning, continue learning. Like I always say, there's enough room on the other side. So push yourself and make yourself. And that's it. Have a wonderful time. Thank you.